All right, so we picking up the pieces from part two. So, like I said, she texted me and was saying she wanted to talk on the phone. And I'm sitting there, like I said before, this lady probably going to ask to live with me. So, we get on the phone and she's just like, yeah, girl, you know, things are just rough right now. Asking me how I've been and carrying on. So she cut to the chase um, and basically said, you know, yeah, you know, we're staying at the retreat, but they gave us seven days to get out. And I'm like, OK, wow. OK, um, y'all need anything? You know what? What's next? So then she was like, well, that's why I called you. I was wondering if I could rent one of your rooms because for me to be alone, um, Prior to my new relationship, I used to share this home with my ex and his child would stay here from time to time. So I have an ample amount of space. And like I told y'all, she came to my house before. So she was able to get wild and, you know, look around like, okay, this girl got space. And in my mind, I'm like, okay, so what's your plan? Okay, y'all got seven days. What's your plan? She's like, you know, we only need about 30 days. We will pay you whatever. Uh, we'll do whatever you say. And I'm like, okay. I'm I'm just thinking to myself because I know it was a time where I had to file bankruptcy. I had just um, had an abortion. I was about to lose my car, about to be homeless and everything. And I ended up being roommates with my homegirl back in 2019. So it was kind of a like, what would Jesus do? You know, somebody helped you. Not technically helped me because I was paying rent. I had my own room and all that stuff. So I want the same situation technically because I could have went back to my daddy house, honestly. But it was still in my mind, like, you know, let me help her out. You know, she always seemed like a sweet, genuine person. Um, I'll be honest with you. Some of the things that were on my mind was just like, Lord have mercy. Since I known this girl, she done worked at Wells Fargo. She done worked at um, Top Golf. She done worked at CarMax. Now she had working at Hilton. And her husband, he a chef. He done job top. He done lost his job now at the retreat because he was a, a chef at the retreat and you know they about to get put out lord have mercy i'm just all this going through my mind at one moment so i say to her you know what um y'all come over come sit down and talk to me we can talk this thing going out stay tuned for part four